Ah, it's Kaze Quad again. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to Kaze Quad. And hopefully, this time with our guns, we'll be doing a little bit better, huh? Let's see here. Borderlands revolvers. There we go. Yep. Got some good lead slugs in there. And got decent amount of things. Hopefully, this way, we're not going to get killed by uh, all everything. <laughs> That's the hope, anyway. Ah. So, I should probably try and get my hands on the numpad or whatever. Just, or figure out how to, how to like, bind it properly so it's not confusing to move around in diagonals, but I don't know. We'll see. So many of the buttons are already being used for other things that, that this, this game is very complex, you know? Creatively. Anyway, um, in case you guys have not watched the previous episodes, we're going to be doing these... Just kind of exploring the wasteland and trying to make friends with everyone if we can. Because my goal isn't to try and, like, say, beat the game, try and save the world or whatever. Though that would be nice. I'm probably going to be shooting for that as well. But the main goal is to try and become friends to all factions in the game. Because that would be kind of cool. It's called Friend to All Life, right? <laughs> uh, let's see here. What's down this way? Nothing. Okay. And on over to the left. What do we got? I think we're in the rust wells or whatever. Don't see anything out of the ordinary here. Let's keep going. I'm kind of lost right now, I have to admit. Though, I think we're pretty close to where we need to be, don't we? Let's take a look, huh? No, we're not, actually. You want... You actually want to go all the way over here. Uh-huh. A little bit farther to the right, huh? Snap jaws. Yeah, it's totally get stuck there. It looked like for us. We're also way faster than they are, so it doesn't really matter. Haruma yet you Yimushukur's cat basket. Okay. Okay, look location of the settler. Okay, it's a uh, pig farm. Nice. There we go. And it's painted no it's like, take to the northwest corner. Okay. Nothing interesting here. This is just a nice secret to have on our journey, so we don't have to worry too much about getting attacked if we're in the area, so we can just kind of flee towards the farm if we have to. Though, I don't think they protect us really, just that we won't have to encounter any further enemies. However, it's still not the best because we can still be attacked by various things, including the farmer far, farmer there, if you have a mistake of, you know, accidentally shooting. Uh, 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 and there I go. Go ahead and kick his butt. We'll turn on freezing ray. Boom, freezing ray activated. Speaking of freezing ray, though, do we have. We don't have enough points to buy another point in freezing ray. I think this, I think this lizard is hostile. Hey, it is hostile, okay. Fire! Okay. Reload my guns. Takes a little bit to reload my guns, not a huge amount of effort. Freezing ray is two turn cooldown, there we go. Freezing ray, like so. Let's go ahead and grab a bronze short sword. There we go. Just to make our way past these guys. I would really like to get my hands on the better freezing ray, but unfortunately, things have not been that nice to me so far. There we go. Look at that. Ah! The turtles are pretty easy pickings, though, so no really worry here. That turtle corpse. That's good. They're super slow. And we got one! Nice! Now I can get a better freezing ray, hopefully. Darn. Okay, never mind. I lied. Ah. Uh, I think for this one, we actually want to have better ego. I don't know. We have 21 intelligence, one agility. Yeah, ego, maybe. Might be the important one here. Boom. Go ahead and get this. No, none of these are good. A iron mace, why not? Boom, nice freezing ray on that turtle. Leave him behind. Get loot this for the nothing interesting, okay. Freeze him again. Could hopefully be able to get him in the next round. And then be able to level up to the next the third rank of uh freeze, because freeze is actually gets much better the higher level it is because of how much damage you do comparatively. I think it might actually freeze faster too, but not certain about that one. More damage though is more gooder. <laughs> so hey, <laughs> there's that. Oh, another darn turtle. Get out of here, turtle. Oh. There we go. 
So we got pretty we got pretty hurt there by that, from that uh, plant. Why? Because we we're in point blank range of its gun. Because it's, it's a gun plant that shoots seeds at us apparently. One, two, three. Freezing ray. Boom. I kind of think I kind of taking a bed roll with us, but I, I haven't actually found one yet. I don't think. Just so we could sleep, because but we don't actually need to sleep as far as I'm aware. N nothing in this game really does need to. Just that, you know, it allows us to pass the time to get to, you know, better parts of day than the evening. There we go. Especially if you are a uh, plant creature. There we go. Nothing special happened there. That's good. Or bad, actually. Good and bad. This is a town. Outskirts of Tupper. Okay. So if I had to guess, the Tupper is right here, right? There I go. Nice, nice. We found the village of Tupper. Okay, this is great. This is actually really good. Finding a village is, of course, one of the best things that can happen to you. Because <laughs> that way you can you can maybe meet some new legendaries, make friends with the village, you know, that kind of thing. And Tupper, I think, is one a fairly common name, too, so it might actually be a set one. I don't know. Maybe not. I think there's just kind of a variety of random names they can choose from, and Tupper happens to be one of them. That I see fairly frequently. No, I don't think I've ever... Oh, hello. Are you a warden? Okay. Warden Legos... It's a uh, salt hopper. Okay. But what's this? It's a stone monolith. This object is... The, wait, sorry. The moss, moss stuff inserts itself into the story world evoked into the being of the... Into being by the carved rock. This object is a monument to the city from the history of the village of Tupper. Tupper. Okay, see, the reason, part of the reason why I started this series is trying to get my speaking ability to be better. So I'm going to be trying to do my best to enunciate things properly and say these things clearly. So, <laughs> hey, if you're in the comments below, please try to remind me to do that, because I'm, I'm trying my best, but I tend to forget sometimes, you know? The villagers of Tupper laid offerings at the feet of Hui Kahil, the legendary croc, in exchange for wisdom about the dish known as Insect Slaw. Interesting. Cool. So that's the first... Okay, here's, here's another one. Since the first festival of the adopted folk, the villagers of Tupper have joyfully feasted on insect slaw. Oh. Huh. Yeah, there's going to be more lore in the area, too. It's kind of neat how each little town has their own lore. Let's make insect slaw. I gained the ability to spit slime. I gained 12% max HP. That's pretty nice. Uh, salamander. Okay, hello. Oh, what do we have here? A colored one. Yellow, huh? Tekka's... Tekalizatl, legendary salamander. Let's trade. Is there a worker around here? Talk to Tepo, Tepo Tekalamo, the, sorry, Te, Tepo Tlamo, the sunbathe to the northeast. Thank you. I, I have more to ask. Live and drink. All right. There's another basic lizard, I think. Yeah, salamander. It's kind of weird how they're not colored like a regular salamander. Their salamanders typically are red, though, you know, northeast, they said. So probably in this building somewhere. It's also a graffiti wall right here. Let's see what it says. Most of the handheld box. Uh, nothing important there, just kind of gibberish. Mostly you'll find gibberish, but you know what? It's good to read this kind of stuff and learn things. There's a lot of trees here. There must be a way into this building over here. This is not a legendary creature, is it? No, it's a regular salamander. Ah, what do we have here? Te Tepok Tlamo, the sunbathed. Mm, they're not liked by a lot of people. But they are loved by unshelled reptiles, which is nice. Not certain if we really want to deal with that, though, in this, in this extent. Nope. Oh, look around. We'll be friends with the crocs and whatnot. So it's actually Hui Cahill, the legendary croc. Okay. Here's a regular salamander. Painted throne. Ooh. Well, I mean, what do we got here? A rotation of etched metals and precious stones designed the Axis Mundi. Painted. This item is painted with a scene from the life of the ancient Sultan Rashef. In the 3 AR, cleanse the Garshlings of the... Uh, okay, so it's the same one we already know from, uh, well... Same one we already know from... From Yapa. Okay. Let's see here. I'm looking for work. Okay, I call here the crib of the Hui Kahilic lamb, the Snapjaw Ford. It is a consecrated altar to us. I'll probably make pilgrimages to sleep in it and contemplate the dish known as Insect Slaw. 
It'll be honor us if you do it too. What do you say? We'll compensate you for your service. Yes. Okay. Nice. So we got the location of a snapjaw fort. Okay. That's a trade. Nothing to trade. Okay. Uh, Nomad, welcome to the village of Tupper. Here you'll find shades and middle, along with the provisions to help you better scour the rust cave for treasure. For our custom, you may drink our fresh water and quench your thirst. Well, thank you. I can go down, too. That's not good. And I believe it is hostile, too. Dreadroot. That's bones. Okay. We want to kill that as fast as we can. Because it's going to spawn more dudes. We're not careful. But unfortunately, we have terrible accuracy. So, there we go. Okay. Woo! That was close. Freezing ray. Uh, yes. Boom, baby. But I need to upgrade. So, that's not, not great. But, you know, better than nothing. There we go. Our low eagle should balance out next time we level up our stats because our stats will go up at uh, either next level or level up to that. All of them will, will by one. So we should be ego neutral at that point. Uh, pistol akimbo is not too bad. However, my agility is not amazing yet. Shoot, sling and run would be pretty good, good though. Wayfaring, make camp. Uh, wilderness, no, wilderness lore. Twice as quickly. That's actually going to be very useful getting around. Though I'm not certain if I really want to do that just yet. Uh, ability to make camp is pretty useful. But we, don't, we don't actually have that ability yet. Uh, weak spotters. Yeah, pistol. We actually want to go customs and folklore. There we go. Yes. Trash dividing is going to come a little bit later. Do we have enough points for anything else? I would like to get trash dividing if I can. Our tinkering is very nice. If we can get our hand on disassemble. However, we don't have enough points for those yet. We'll have to worry about that in a little bit. So, oh, what do we have? Is this a... Oh, it's a, it's a regular chameleon. Okay. Pass by some trash. There should be a merchant around here somewhere. Just about every village I know of spawns with a... Spawns with a... Uh, huh? Nothing new, huh? Every village that I know of spawns with a uh, merchant, a dromad merchant somewhere. But I don't really know where that would be. What do we have here? A chest, a folding cot, ornate table, strange furniture. Nothing here, huh? Oh, it's an archway, not actually a door. Ah, oh, well done. Maybe you can sleep in here until morning. Harvest dawn, there we go. Good. It's going to be dawn, and there we are. You can now see much better. What's this? What's this over here? Campfire. Okay, so next to the trees. I'd be kind of worried about that, honestly, because, you know, trees can catch fire. But we'll see. Nothing here. Oops. Okay. So, Tupper, huh? Interesting. However, this here is the city center. We're going to look explore a little bit more. See what we can see, yeah? Huh? I see what I can't see. The see what I see can't see, you know? Or whatever. <laughs> there should be a merchant around here somewhere. But usually he's in the town center because, well, that's where most of the trade would be happen to be. You know, town center. But I can't seem to find him just yet. Oh, we've got a green lizard over here. But it might just be, yeah, the chameleon. So they tend to change color to meet the uh, world around them. Which kind of sucks because it's hard to... Different. Oh, what's this? Elder Stillbeer. Uh, rolling scales tessellate her monstrous slouching form, and her motes of condensate stipple her swollen chin. Her tail is stretched and cracked with advanced age. Oh. That's right. I think the beard creatures can actually breathe fire. Something like that. They, they breathe like lightning or fire or something like that. They're kind of like dragons in that way. Which is, you know, uh, kind of dangerous. That's why you want to make friends with lizards, because they have some plenty of powerful creatures on their side. Like the Mimic, for example. The Mimic is, well, a creature that pretends to be other creature, other things. Like it can be a treasure chest. Anything, anything it touches nearby, it'll, it'll transform into. Which is really funny, because um, it's actually apparently a lizard. Like a chameleon, I suppose. 
<laughs> the funniest part about that is, one time I managed to befriend lizards. It took a lot of work, and I had a lot of the scaled equipment on, honestly. But one time I managed to convince lizards to help me out, because they're friends, you know? So that whenever you, whenever you get friendly enough, well, I think friendly is the level you have to get to. Whenever you get friendly with a certain race or whatever, members of those species will help you fight monsters that are in your way. That try to beat the crap out of you. Uh, so I happen to see, I happen to have a mimic in the area, a mimic, that wanted to help me out because I was being attacked by, I think, uh, bugs? Something weird like that? Anyway, the, the mimic wanted to help me out, so it kind of started racing across the map to help me out. And it touched a tree and transformed into a tree and then some water. So I saw this, this one tile, this one, like, tree just running around, fighting the, killing things. It was insane. <laughs> but hey, I, I don't mind. That, that, that's, it's helping me out, so why not? Uh, by the way, night fishing is very, very nice because I don't have to worry about torches and whatnot. I'm starting to get hungry, though. I'm actually go back and eat some more insect slaw, whatever it's called. Oh. Uh, freezing the rainbow. He's frozen. That's good. Yeah, in, in, at nighttime, freezing is a little bit easier because, you know, the sun heats things up. Oh, we got a caravan, I think. Let's see what this is. Great salt back. Worlds fail to con contain the paradox's domesticated immensity. Domesticated, domesticated immensity, immensity. Okay, drifting on the cultural seas has swept a particular fable to your attention. Long ago, long ago, far away, folks who supposed to all things rested on the back of a world tortoise. Shortly, that light of fancy came to someone gazing at us. Came to someone gazing out on a salt back. Or does your vision echo throughout the past to partake in this its creation? Or does your vision, own vision, echo through the task? The what? Hold on, let me, let me try that again. Drifts on the cultural seas has swept a particular fable to your attention. Long ago, far away, folks supposed all of the, all of everything rested on the back of a world tortoise. World tortoise, tortoise. Surely that flight of fancy came to someone gazing on a great salt back, or does that, does your own vision echo the part the past to partake in its creation? Uh, Carpus great stomp, caravan guard wearing unusual clothes. The unusual foreign clothing, the Chiron Guard, presents an exotic form. And they're also actually in full plate. So watch out, they're dead they're deadly. And this guy is dead. <laughs> okay, here let's chat with the main trader, huh? Okay, let's trade. You can talk to them about their, their species, but we're not really that worried about it. I'm going to sell my junk I just picked up earlier. For some lead slugs. Not a whole lot of leg slugs. Leg slug. Lead slugs. But it's some. That's good enough. More bullets is more bullets. A laborer security card. Ooh, if I can come back there for that, that would be heckin' amazing. I'll have basic toolkits. So I don't need to worry about that. I'm going to offer. Now, I can afford to buy something really cheap. Is there anything really cheap around here? White fine wafers. Maybe? I can buy some fine wafers, I guess. Uh, i just buy all of them. Why not? Can I carry anything else? Well, steel arrows, maybe? I don't even... I don't... You know, I don't think they, they wait. Oh, I need to buy all the all the bullets first. There we go. Okay, now I can subtract some of these. Hopefully, it'll be not quite enough, huh? I got to pay a full dram for the point four three here. Okay, so we're gonna reduce it by one bullet, two bullets. There we go. Offer. Uh, 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 offer. There we go. And then I get five drams. I don't really want to pay a full dram for three bullets, so that's not nothing living drink. We're gonna go ahead and try and. Uh oh, turtles. Luckily for me, though, turtles kind of suck because of how slow they are. There we go. And the giant turtles over there are not actually affiliated with, with these turtles. They're actually part of the merchant faction, faction or whatever it's called. You know, the uh, faction associated with dromads. At least I think that's what the faction is. It's the merchant faction, right? I don't actually know. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and freeze them both. There we go. Yeah, six and eight. That's much better damage than it was 1d4 earlier, you know what I mean? Now, I'm probably not going to get that high rolls normally, but, you know, still. That's a white ivory. I'm glad I didn't step in it. Well, young ivory, not white ivory. I believe there's actually bet there's actually stronger ivories as well. However, uh, they're not as common for obvious reasons. There we go. We got them both. Nice. Can I get this tortoise and move it? Hey, I can. Chat, hey, do you want this tortoise? Hmm. Offer. Oh. Uh, I'll give you this tortoise. Uh, uh, I'll give you this tortoise in exchange for a bullet or two. 
Maybe some shotgun shells, why not? Yeah, there we go. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> why not? I just care. Oh, hello. I believe the young ivory cannot attack you if you know where it is, or you just kind of avoid it, you know what I mean? Oh, we lost the dog, that sucks. Freezing ray. Is that wax? No, it's bloody salt, okay. Yeah. Uh, if you get a certain mutation from, well not mutation, but a fungal infection, it'll start bleeding wax everywhere. This guy's just covered in salt for some reason. I go, he's dead now. Oh, what the? Is that another tortoise? Uh, oh, it's de dead dog. Unfortunately, most animals do not like dogs. That's a salt hopper. And we're not going to let it run at me because I'm like freezing it. Now, you can sprint like just like we can. However, we have the effective range to outmaneuver him, most hopefully. However, he will eventually be able to sprint again. So we want to make, make sure our distance is fairly strong. Okay, Freezing Ray. There we go. Whoa, that's nice. Okay, sweet. So we now have Freezing Ray at rank 6. Awesome. Put another point into Beguiling. Boom. So it's now Beguiling 2 instead of, instead of 3, but whatever. Crash Divining. Good to have. Now whenever we run through trash, we should be able to get our hands on some... Cool stuff. Here, little tortoise corpse. Uh, dog corpse. Sometimes you can get some corpses from the salt hoppers, but it's apparently like a 4% chance. Not that, not super effective. I think here. Okay. Oh, yeah, that Dromad Caravan is there. That's very nice to know. You can actually tell that secret to anyone affiliated with a village, I believe, to get more favor. And here is a... Okay, this is a ruin. I want to be very, very careful here, because gun turrets can be around, and gun turrets hurt, like, really, really badly. Uh, examine. Metal, metal folding chair, there we go. I don't know how to disassemble, so we don't have, we're not going to worry too much about that. Yes. Now, open the door. Don't walk through a door. Like, if you hit right, you'll walk through a door. You'll open it and then walk through it. That's not a good idea. Ooh, a pool of honey, though. Collect liquid in a water skin. Nice. Nice. Honey is a very, very valuable... Oh. Oh, a bear. I suppose that was your honey, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, bear. I didn't know. <laughs> I just saw it, and it was there. Uh, if you're in possession of honey or steal honey from a bear, they're usually pretty mad at you about it uh, for obvious reasons. Now, I don't think there's anything in our range here, so we can just kind of shoot him if we have to. However, it'd be much better if we don't have to spend our bullets on him. He's fairly tough, but we could probably handle him at this point. Or is it her? Oh, sorry, here you go. The only familiar nursery rhyme courses through your brain. The grizzly bear is huge and wild. It has devoured the infant child. The infant child is unaware it has been eaten by the bear. Um, claw, claw, bite. Okay, it doesn't actually tell you if it's a male or female. It's referred to as it. Interesting. So obviously, grizzly bears do have gender, so it's uh, it's kind of a mystery. Okay, I don't, I don't see anything. Now, you might be able to see this tree here called a witchwood tree. If you see that it has a red, if it has red bark, that means it is harvestable. And, well, harvestable bark is very nice. Honeyed salt. Yeah, I don't need honeyed salt. Oh, that's a, that's a that's a worm. I don't want to deal with you. Okay. Uh, no worm. A thick cord of bristly segments are catched by a cu cuspate beak for breaking through shale. It can dig through walls, apparently, but it never actually does that, as far as I'm aware. Not that it really matters, but, you know. He's trying to cut me off for some reason. Not that it matters again. I can just kind of freeze him and make my way around. But... Hmm. Now, I believe you could actually cut the head off of one of these and wear it as a, as a cap. However, we don't have that kind of talent. We're not a butcher. Uh, that's a talent we don't actually have yet. Hopefully we'll get it in the future. However, I don't 
That's a mimic over there. That right there is a mimic. Yeah. This awful chimeric beast is known to any to any form... Okay, sorry. This awful chimeric beast is known to take any number of forms to fool its prey, though no one knows whether it truly assumes these forms or merely tricks them, their minds into... Or merely tricks the minds of its quarries into believing it is so. Okay, so we're gonna try and freeze it. However, that's a, this is probably a bad idea. Not in range. Freeze. Okay. Seven damage. We're not doing good here. Is he fast? He's, he's moving really quick. Okay, we need to sprint. So he's a lot more powerful than I thought he was. That's not good. He's very quick on his feet. Maybe by breaking line of sight, we should be okay. Though it is the middle of the day, so lizards like that tend to be a lot faster and more difficult. Let's not go this way again. I can't really handle one of these yet. Oh, well. The wall says it to do otherwise. Okay, so yeah, we, I think we lost him. We're probably fine to keep going this way, because after all, he can't keep attacking us from this far away. I think he loses interest if we get too far, because again, mimics are more ambush predators, not so much a, uh, you know, a chase predator. Not that it can't do that, because apparently it's pretty quick. Oh, hello. What do we got here? Uh, a horned chameleon. Lam. Whew. I'm bleeding right now. Do I have anything to heal that with? No. Okay, I'm gonna just bleed out, I guess. I think I can do about this. I'll stop bleeding. Okay, good. Whew, I'm covered in blood, aren't I? Yeah, I'm salty and bloody. Ugh. I'm kind of hungry. Consider eating something while I can. Dog corpse. Dog corpse. Oh, I feel bad about that. Snapjaw Fort. Is this the location of the Snapjaw Fort we need to go to? Ooh. I'm hungry, but not particularly uh, in danger yet, anyway. I haven't seen anything particularly dangerous yet, though Snapjaws can have shotgunners, and shotguns can deal a ton of damage, so you gotta be careful about that kind of thing. Freezing ray, there we go. Good. Get the dagger, there we go. And we can get one of these. Now, forts almost always, not, though not guaranteed, have a uh, legendary, ooh, legendary snapjaw in them. There we go, nice. Yeah, crows and the dragonflies actually hate each other or kill each other on sight, which, not really any of our business, but, you know, can be, can be dangerous, maybe. Okay, I want a dagger. And a short bow. Get out of the water. Our way back is kind of blocked off. We might need to recruit a, a snap jaw to help us out. Okay, we're fully loaded. Good. A lot of bad guys. We're gonna take our time. And, nah. Uh... Okay, there we go. Just kind of take cover for a little bit. Reload our gun club. It's a slender wooden buckler, okay? Slender means that it weighs less than it normally does, which is great. And no no drawbacks, actually, either. So it's good. Might as well grab it, right? Uh, bronze sword, short sword, wooden arrows. We can take the bow, too. Let's just take all this junk. Oh, that's a grenade he just threw at us. And what do we have here? Hated by succulents in the cold of Karam. Succulents, uh... I'm not certain what succulents are, actually, thinking about it. Aren't they, like, some sort of, like, buffing creature? I don't know. We're gonna have to deal with this guy any either way. He's hated by succulents and disliked by a cult. The snap jaws, uh... We might have to freeze him and get our way around. Luckily for us, didn't have a real grenade. Otherwise, that would have really hurt. So we're going to be You're despised by Snapjaws, yes. Especially the cult of Kurham has increased from 110 to uh, 
Sucky looks as crease from 195 to 195. Good. Okay, well, he didn't even have anything good on him either. I would prefer to not make enemies with Snapjaws because we're already enemies with them. To the point where it's kind of going to be tough to make friends with them ever again. However, it's not much I can do about that. I'm going to have to use Beguiling, I guess, to, or a Love Potion, something like that, to handle that situation. How, however, this is not the end, uh, all be all for this. We can actually encounter, and not something even worse, more than one legendary per area, I believe, in like a set off fort. Oh, we're famished. We're gonna have to go get some food. Which means we're just gonna have to, like, get inventory, eat the snapjaw corpse. There we go. Ugh. If we feel sick, we're going to be slow for a little while. However, we're just going to take our time and move very carefully. Whew. All right. But I guess for now, that was a pretty pretty good episode. We had a good time. We ran to a mimic. We didn't die. <laughs> and hey, I guess that's probably good enough for now, huh? I'm going to take things slow this time. Try not to die, huh? Because it's, it's been kind of a streak of deaths, and I don't want to just have you constant deaths be the, the story of our, you know, little adventure here. I want to succeed, right? I want to have some more... Beautiful adventures, I'd say. But that'll be wait, wait for next time. So see you guys then. Bye bye.